Right then, guys, I'm straight in the door from work and um, look what's turned up my boots. Um, I don't know whether or not you're familiar with a salmon brand. Um, I, I've been wearing these bad boys for um, over a year now and it was time to get a new pair. Um, you know, like mid boots, Gore Tex, and anyway. There's a shop just down the road that sells them, but I thought I'd shop around this time and see if I could save myself a few quid. And I did. Check out this website, guys. I'm just going to um, take you up over the Cord Outdoor Kit. I don't know whether or not you're familiar with them, but um, some of their stuff is like, I don't know, can you see that there? Like 40% off? 35% uh, off hunters. Um, they do. They do all the big makes. They do all of the like North Face and all of your big brand stuff. So um, I ordered ordered my new boots and um, shall we unbox them? Show you what I got. Just stick that down the table. Yeah. So like I said, I bought. Um, well, what can I say? For years I've known about this brand, um, Salmon, from, I used to do, like, um, I used to compete in triathlons and biathlons and um, a lot of cross country stuff as well. And even 10 years ago, guys were, were wearing this stuff this product and it's really just in the last I don't know five six years that I think it's got that popular so these guys started off salmon started off oh yeah they started off making like ski stuff um they've been going since like 1950s and whatnot but they really do high-end stuff, high-end trainers, high-end boots, and um, I think they were like the first company to do like the ski bindings, the quick release ski bindings. Um, anyway, I'm blithering on. Um, they're, they're, they're a very good high-end brand. And these are the new boots. So, I wear these boots, the ones that I've got on here, shall I show you? Shall I take them off? Um, as you know, I cycle into work, so these boots go on me six o'clock in the morning, and I'm in the door now at five to seven. I'm wearing these boots 13 hours a day, and they've lasted me over a year. You can see the tread there. It's not that bad, but just over time, generally you can see where the crease is. Well, that's, that's come off there. It was just time for a new pair. And this is what I got, guys. Check those out. That's a lovely boot. Now I like the mid boot, still gives me a lot of stability in the ankle. It's a lot lighter weight than, you know, like a full high leg boot. Gore-Tex obviously, waterproof, especially when I'm cycling into work or, I mean, I wear these going hiking or going up the hills or going into the woods or, you'll see in a lot of my videos that I'm sort of wearing well, what I'm wearing now, really, um, a lot of people asking me about um, the trousers that I wear and the, and the boots that I wear. So I just thought I'd, I'd share this with you. You can see these. They're just lovely, aren't they? And like I say, if you're in the market for a 
nice quality boot or some higher end gear. Check these guys out only simply because Savia pack it. I mean, there we go. Check out. There we go. Sales are always good. We love the sales. Anyway, so I'm going to put these on now and, um, well, cozy. So I'll see you guys at the weekend. I'm going to go and do like a cooking video. Um, I think we're going to compare the French and the American and the British and three different ways of cooking. So, um, yeah, next time you see me, you see me in the woods with my new boot on. So, um, bless you guys, thanks for watching. And like I said, go and save yourself a few quid. Um, check them out. All right, God bless. Bye. Right then, guys, so I thought I'd just do a bit of a closer look at these boots and just give you a little bit of a, an explanation of what you're getting for your money because well let's be honest they're not cheap all right but you're paying for quality um, like I said I've had these ones here for over a year now and they did me all the way through the winter and um, they've lasted me over a year so if you're wearing a boot for 13 hours a day and it lasts you a year. I think that's great value for money, let's be honest. So, not only does the boot look nice, I mean the quality of the workmanship, everything that it's made out of. I mean, you've got, you've got a real thick heel here. But then as, if I show you, if I, if I feel inside from there, that's all foam, that's all padding there. You're not going to get blisters from these. You can see here, it looks like um, a carbon fibre sort of base that it all sits on. And that is part of their, what they call like uh, 4D um, system. Like the chassis, I suppose, where everything sits upon. You see, very deep tread there. Well, there's the 4D sim symbol there. You see this here. This is all waterproof. This is all part of the Gore-Tex. This is new book leather. This. You see these eyelets? I don't know if I can come through here. Can we focus in on that? You see how the laces go through it? So it all pulls together when you pull the laces. It's like very similar to the rollerball system. And then these last three up here, they're not eyelets as such. That's where you can pull the lace through. So you know the score, you know how it works. This is always done up. And then the last three, you just have to go around and around and that's it. Pull it all tight and it all comes in nice and, nice and snug. Like I said, this, everything in here, you can see the Gore-Tex line in there. That's all the way through. So that's gonna protect you from the elements. And let's be honest guys, this time of year, we really do wanna be protected from the elements. The cold and the wet, it can make life miserable for you if you're walking out in, in any environment. If your feet get cold, you ain't a happy camper. So if you look on the this, this site, like I said, the, um, the, the outdoor kit site, there's, there's reviews for these products and, and people are going out wearing these in, in temperatures of minus 21. I mean, we ain't going to get minus 21 over here, hopefully. But um, yeah, they keep your feet nice and warm as well. 
I've got a little, little tip for you. You can see in here, my, um, let me pull that out. Sorry about that camera work there. You can see that's my insole from my new boots. And the insole from my old boots. Now, this sole's already molded to my foot shape. It's still in good condition. There's no rips, no tears. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick my old insole inside my new boot. That way, when you're breaking in a new boot, it's not so much of a shock to your foot. It doesn't have to try and mold every single bit of the bit of the boot to your foot. And you know, once the boot is fitted to your foot after a couple of weeks, you can stick the new the new soles, the new insoles in there if you like. But that's just a little thing I like to do when I get new boots. Just put my old insole in there. And um, yeah. I don't get any blisters. That way my foot sort of sits where it should be, where it has done, um, you know, a good position in the boot, so. Right, so that's really my little close up of these boots. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get these bad boys on. And like I say, next time you see me out in the field, this is what I'll be wearing. Right, guys, all the best. God bless. Bye.